all, all across the board. There's no library, there's no kitchen. Kitchen is moved. Uh, the goal is really to revisit level design and art direction in every point we have. Uh, you still have the essence of the map, uh, although we we want to rebalance all four objectives. The goal is really we design as a, we now design with the Plan Bomb as a core game mode. So uh, having, for example, House, which we first developed with the Rescue Hostage Intention, uh, it's it got harder when we decide to place two bombs, uh, and especially harder when you want four bomb location. So uh, we decide to design every single map. So expect maps to get a bit bigger. Uh, House can sadly not be a competitive map because of that. Uh, value, but uh, the goal is really get them bigger, address major flaw issue, and uh, revisit, revisit level design, level art. So you're taking what your team has been learning throughout the past two years of Rainbow Six and applying it to making adjustments to existing maps that the game is really well known for, Harefords, yeah. specifically. Uh, so what, are we, what can we talk about in terms of art direction? Uh, for art direction? and like the fantasy that we have for, for these new maps? Well, I, I think first we missed one point. Airford is officially the season three map rework. This is the first intention that we have. This is our deal year dev map. Uh, this was the first competition map that we've had. We've been, the, we've been playing that map for 10 months in gray block. We didn't have art. We had no destruction intention on props. Uh, so. It was obvious for us that, that the choice that Earford is the core map of R6 when we started, and we needed to rework that, uh, that map. We have so much data on it. We know the map from top to bottom, and uh, it was obvious with the, the uh, season uh, rhythm. Uh, we needed a strong map to redesign it up for. Absolutely, and, and like you had mentioned earlier, you guys are taking all these level design learnings and applying them to these reworks, but like, I was out of turn. Let's talk about the art direction option. <laughs> so what are, what are we looking at in terms of the updated, the, the new facelift for Hereford? Yes, Hereford, we're going back 30 years before, so uh, it's the SAS Center. We want to revisit this map with, uh, there won't be any chopper uh, on the side. Uh, we, we really want to address like issues that we had with callouts, so color code, uh, destruction readability, so whether it's uh, Kevlar, which is really ambiguous as a material, uh, we're more going with bricks, wood, concrete, something that's rough and uh, clear visibility. So we're taking it back a few years to what it, what it looked like 30 years ago, brick, concrete, wood, yep. and so it's going to be much easier to tell which, which, uh, which walls and, and building parts are destructible. Yep. Especially on bullet penetration itself, like for props, uh, wood is clear, cavalry or not. Makes sense. So let's talk about the level design and, and the learnings that you've had and how you're applying those specifically to Hereford Base. For Air Force specifically, there was one major issue, uh, that the pick rate. Uh, the basement is the first pick rate. Uh, and we want to make sure that there's four viable lo bomb location. Uh, it's super important for us because otherwise uh, people have the reflex of just only choosing that and it makes obvious uh, rounds. So uh, there, we concentrated on making sure there's four bomb site. Uh, adding staircase because there was lots of issue. We want to prevent also having a bomb location right next to a window. Uh, we want to make sure that the gameplay is focusing inside the building and less on the outside. Having small buildings often result in the outside inside firefight. So we really want to let the players progress, the attackers progress inside the building. So for some of our viewers who might not be quite as familiar with high level play and why that would be important, why is it so integral to have these bomb sites move more towards the inside and not right next to a window? Well, it's progression. Uh, you want to plan your strategy. You want to plan your strategy. You want to make sure that when you get into position, you, you have the advantage. So you need a good rhythm to get in there. And once you're in there, everything can happen. So like, we want to give the chance as well for the attackers and defenders to either roam or uh, place themselves properly for a proper attack. So again, giving more options to our players kind of goes hand in hand with pick and ban. For sure. We're putting everything in the players' hands in the future of Rainbow Six. Yep. Okay, so let's talk about the map buffs that we mentioned earlier. What is your team working on in terms of map buffs and what does that mean? Well, this is something that hasn't been announced. I'm super proud of it. This means we've, as map production, by, by the way, map production, the, uh, all the love, you guys, <laughs> you guys are awesome, shipping every three, ma uh, three months. Um, map buff is the proof of maturity on our team. Uh, we, we got to a point where revisiting map uh, as rework is too much of a work, so we, we decide to surgically um, study the data that we have and uh, adjust uh, layouts. Um, 
we can add walls, we can balance destruction, we can add four viable objective. Uh, but the goal is really to microsurgically uh, tweak the layout so it feels balanced, has more progression also. So we're, we're making really minor or changes, like small adjustments, very surgical, very precise, adding a wall here, taking a wall away there, things like that, yep. to improve the player flow on these maps and, and how the balancing of the overall map works. Exactly, yep. Okay, do you want to talk about the, uh, the first map buff that we have coming up? Yes, I'm super proud. Clubhouse will be the first map buff. This is huge for us. Uh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Seems like the crowd's pretty happy about that one. <laughs> well, people know the map. Uh, <laughs> it has major flaw. Uh, not major flaw. It has some flaws. Uh, this is it. <laughs> it's super hard to concentrate right now. Um, so what, what we've been doing is addressing some issues that we had with uh, the upper stairs. Uh, so the bedroom and cash room. I'll give a go. second to just watch it. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. cool. <laughs> let it sink in. Let it sink in. All right, so let's, let's take a look at, at what everybody just saw and kind of break it down and why those changes were important. Yes, uh, from the, there was an issue with the bedroom and the cash room. Uh, we decided to fill that up with a room to make sure that there's no, the defenders are not compromising their old team whenever they go and try to flank them uh, from the bedroom side. So it gives lots of depth in the strategy and uh, in the gameplay. So this was the first major uh, modification that we've done. Second is the bar section. Bar section had two bomb locations there. It was really open. We decided to sectorize it. So now there's a new flow in the bar. There's new destruction. There's new walls. Uh, we created a bathroom. E imagine that it's been renovated and uh, we, we pimped it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so what does this mean for players who are, who are moving through these maps and, and trying to take these objectives and, and attack and defend and, and everything like that? Well, one of the major modifications in those uh, in this map buff is the stairwell that goes all the way down to the arsenal. Uh, there was a huge choke point from the garage and the arsenal, and often it becomes a bottleneck. Uh, so we decided to have the stairs that comes from the dog spawn. Uh, it totally changed the flow of the, the objective. It feels uh, more equal to the rest of it. And we've been testing those changes for quite a while now, and super confident that this will bring the meta higher on this map. Clearly. So these, these map buffs are integral to making these, these minor changes to maps to remove choke points and, and open up vi more viability for different objectives yep. and, and really just improve the overall experience for both attackers and defenders on these maps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when, when can we maybe expect Clubhouse to, to come into the game, these changes? Well, the first map buff that we're going to ship is on Season 2. The target is to ship one, whether it's small, whether it's medium. Uh, we want to ship one every season. Uh, that's our target. Obviously, we're going to ship when it's ready. This is what happened with Pick and Ban. This is gonna, what happened with the map buff. We waited long enough to s be sure that we're not shipping sh ship. I'll say, <laughs> I'll say shit. We're shipping strong content. This is the goal. So we've, we've kind of had a mentality shift on the development team to ensure that when we're ready to ship something, we, we ship it when it's ready. Exactly. We make yeah. sure it has enough time to kind yes. of marinate and, and get ready to, ready to go. Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. So let's, let's kind of take a recap real quick. And uh, so for the map rework, we're, we're ensuring that uh, it's more competitive than it was when it first launched. Uh, we're, we're improving, we're making like overall changes, huge changes, sweeping changes to these maps with both level design and a new art direction. And then for the map buffs, we're, we're making much smaller changes, more surgical changes, mm 